All right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with lovable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. I haven't been in show business my entire life. The fact is, my career didn't start until so, elementary school. No one has signed up. No one has signed up. Or up onto the roof to get the paper has been the best exercise program a veteran could ever have. <laughs> Why, that was simply dynamic. Have you ever thought about the theater? Uh, no. You could be the next Brando, Newman, Laurence Olivier. You think so? No, not without my direction, of course. Think you're ready to perform for a bigger audience? Bigger than the third grade? You in the spring play that I wrote. Actually, I adapted it. So, would you like to audition? Uh... Great, see you at three. I hear you're gonna try out for the play. You hear? Hey, I know, maybe you'll be the handsome prince. Then we'd have scenes together. Well, what play is it? I didn't even bother to ask. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, and who will you be? I'll give you one guess. I'm asleep in the second act. Break a leg, <coughs> Louie. A simple good luck would have been sufficient. Oh, I know the task set. Before me, I shall sail the seven seas, leap tall buildings in a single bound to seek out the princess, and with my kiss, bring her back to life. I hope you don't mind I improvise. Thank you, Melvin. That was very nice. <sighs> Who's next? Okay, Larry, whenever you're ready. Uh, Louie. Oh, I shall... I know the task set before me. I shall seek out the princess and with my kiss bring her back to life. Something like that. Uh, now, uh, try the line on page 15. My kiss shall awaken thee. Get up, fair man. This is ridiculous. Gee. Thanks for the support. Glenn, Glenn, what are you doing here? This isn't a murder mystery. Step aside, Louie B. Mayor. I'm going to audition to be the handsome prince. I'm thrilled you're here, Glenn, Glenn. Please grab one of my scripts. I'm going right to the smooching scene, if that's all right. Splendid. My kiss shall awaken thee, fair maiden. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. I'm moved. You are all really... Great. Well, the audition is just underway. We must be considerate of others. Uh, we've been here two hours. Okay, Louis, you win. You're the handsome prince. I demand a recount! Oh, don't be discouraged, Glenn. You can be Louis' understudy. Fasten your seatbelt, Lou Costello! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! <laughs> Hi, Louis. How was your day? Great. My school's done the play Sleeping Beauty. I got the lead. You're sleeping, Beauty. Mom, try the handsome prince. Oh, that's terrific. Your dad is going to be so proud. Oh, I hate to call him at work. He's so busy, he never even has a chance to sit down. Anderson, phone call. Just my luck. Oh. What's that, Aura? Louie's going to be in a play. Uh, Louie's in your way. Well, tell him to move. It's on Thursday night. On Thursday night, fine. Cher, I love boxing. Yes, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, Cher, you can have all the beauty sleep you need, baby. Uh -huh. Got it. Yes, I'll be there. I love you, too. Ah, they accuse me of having shell shock. Anderson, I need those Johnson rods over to conveyor belt number seven. Pronto. Come on, come on, come on. Get going, boy. Let's go, let's go. And after that, get Of course, Your Highness. Oh, boy, I'm exhausted. I'm telling you, the problem around here is management. You should be running things, right? Uh, you got that right, Earl. Okay, Jeannie, you're lying there, asleep. You've been sleeping for 50 years. Now, Louie... I got it. I walk over, say my line, kiss her, and she wakes up. Good. Now, did I happen to mention that I am the director? 
Yes, and also the writer, writer the producer, the producer, and the gaffer. And the gaffer. Anderson, Andy Anderson, to my office, now. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Yes. I heard through the grapevine that you have some ideas on how this place could be run better. Well, yeah, I think I'm ready to take on more responsibility. What I was thinking was... Great! I'm going away on business. And I'm putting you in charge. Temporarily. I appreciate your confidence in me, sir. I won't let you down. Fair maiden in eternal slumber. Hold on. I saw you walk over here, but I didn't see the horse you rode in on. Oh, there is no horse. Well, I know that, but that's acting. You have to make the audience see the horse. Yeah, Mom, I'll work on it. Honey, I'm home. Can I get a cold one here? Oh, Andy, Louie and I were rehearsing, but it's too difficult for me to act and direct, so would you mind? Well, sure. I just put in a 12-hour day. I've never been more tired in my life. My back is killing me. I have carpal tunnel from signing my name in triplicate. So what do you say? Sure. What else was I going to do tonight? Eat? Eh, uh, not exactly the role I had in mind. Now, Sleeping Beauty is dead, so no talking. Louie, go ahead. My kiss shall awaken thee, fair maiden. Don't get any ideas, Romeo. I wouldn't worry about it, Dad. You're not exactly the prettiest Sleeping Beauty I've ever seen. I'll have you know, young man. In the war, there weren't any women around. So, who do you think played Joan of Arc in the USO show? Gee, let me guess. That's right. Never got any complaints, either. Got a couple of marriage proposals, but nothing really panned out. I couldn't admit it at the time, but it became apparent that the kiss was a huge hurdle. Who'd have thought after 12 years the amnesia would break? I needed to do some research. Have you ever considered therapy? Good night, Jim. I had a great time. I love the submarine races. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Me either. <laughs> the whole key to this is... Timing lay. Really? Three, two, one. That's enough. This is my front porch, not the tunnel of love. Inside, young lady. Uh, I was just saying goodnight. Don't treat me like a kid. Thanks for your help, Dad. Timing. I'll keep that in mind. Stop that. <laughs> Knock it off. Do you think you can rehearse for the play if you're in detention? I know what must be done. Uh, Hark! I see the beautiful princess. I will give her a, a noogie. What? <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful ad lib, Louie. However, inappropriate. We could give Mr. Glenn a try. Genie's mine! I've got the make-out scene memorized. My kiss shall awaken thee, fair maiden. And then I kiss her and she wakes up. Play's over. <laughs> Six o'clock, Andy. Quitting time. Sure, give me a minute. Just gonna file these. Approve next week's schedule. Return three dozen phone calls. Sign about 64 checks. Then I'll be right with you. Laura, um, remember, uh... When you were with Chip on the porch the other night? Uh, anyway, well, I'm doing a report at school, and I had a couple of questions on uh, the subject. Uh, is it better to have my mouth closed or open? Should my lips be pursed or relaxed? Uh, or, or do I make a smacking sound at the end, or does that just happen naturally? Having trouble eating your mother's meatloaf again? Dad! Do it like I do, Lay. Swallow your bites whole, like a dog. That way, the taste won't linger. Oh, thanks. Dinner! It's meatloaf! <sighs> Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. What is it, dear? Well, 
You know the play? Oh, that's right. Andy, Louie's play is this Thursday. You're gonna be there, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Thursday. I uh, wouldn't miss it there. <laughs> anyway, I have a problem. I have to kiss Sleeping Beauty, and I want to make sure I do it right. Oh, yes. There's nothing like a kiss to top off a perfect evening. A glass of bubbly, some music, candlelight, a washboard stomach, and being held just right. That's not kissing, that's romance. He's not interested in romance. Watch and learn. Ooh, Andy. Ah, baby, say no big deal. <laughs> oh, my. Got it? Nothing to it. Kiss. Touch with lips as a mark of affection. Don't worry, Louie. There's nothing to kissing. It's easy. My first kiss was years ago. My kiss shall awaken thee, fair maiden. Yeah, I know. And then you kiss her and she wakes up, right? Hey, you worry about your lines and I'll worry about mine. Excuse me, Miss Kinney. Jeannie, when you were sleeping, I really felt the pain and anguish of your character. What's your secret? Pain and anguish? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I mean, every time Louis is supposed to kiss me, he doesn't. Is it my breath? <sighs> no, certainly not. Why would chili dog with onion breath be offensive? Why, this very thing happened when I was on Broadway, rehearsing with Robert Preston. Of course, they replaced me with Shirley Jones, but that's a different story. The point is, on show night, he kissed her. Oh, boy, did he kiss her. He had been saving it for the stage. Now run along and don't worry. Thanks a lot, Miss Kinney. Saving it for the stage. A likely excuse. Threatened more like it. Hi, Louie. Oh, Jeannie, I've got something to tell you. Dropping out of the play. What? Uh, Louie, you can't! Do you know what that means? Uh, that you'll be in eternal sleep? No. Hey, it's the big actor Jerry Lewis! Everyone knows you're afraid to kiss Jeannie, afraid you might get cooties. Louie, are you afraid to kiss me? No. In fact, I'm afraid I'll upstage you. Oh, is that it? Look, Louie, you're gonna be great. I have faith in you. Thanks. So you'll stay in the play? For you? Yeah. Oh, there's me! <laughs> if I make it to show night. <sighs> oh, Andy. Gracious, look at the time. You're working too hard, dear. If Applegate can do it, so can I. What was I thinking asking for more responsibility? I got 11 kids and I touch! Andy, here. Andy, how are you doing? Not good. Just a little reminder. I know, I know. I read the note in my lunch. I found the one in my shoe. I got the one in my hard hat. You know how important this is to Louie. I'll do my best, I promise, honey. <gasps> All our donut doodles. Wait, don't panic. The nut nut bar. Oh, what the heck? Is he going to be all right, Doctor? Yes, he'll be fine. Just, just a broken tooth, but it's all, it's all fixed now. <laughs> don't worry. The, the numbness will wear off in a couple of hours. Just wear this bib and don't bite your cheek. Oh, how cute. That's me, uh, Mr. Responsibility. Next time I have a good idea, I'm going to knock myself in the head. Uh... Louie, I know the show must go on. Sometimes the show goes on without you. Wipe your mouth, dear. Where are you going? Sir, with all due respect, I've got tickets to the theater. My kid's starring. Well, there's a mountain of paperwork here. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be greedy, so I saved you some. Anderson! You can't leave! 
Hey, there's always tomorrow. But tomorrow, I can't see my son's play. Yeah, I should make a pit stop. Ah, the play must go on. I better go watch him. Just wanted to wish you luck, Louie. Knock him dead. What? Hey, Miss Kitty, listen to this. Louie, is everything all right? I'm fine. Okay, good. Relax and have fun. And don't ruin my poetry. I know you're hiding something. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, mush mouth. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who Ara ah, loved. Oh, Andy, you're it isn't here. easy being Let beautiful. Hey, uh, veteran coming Oh, I'm so glad you made it. Make One worse. message for the world. Hmm. Didn't even have time to use the restroom. Oh, so bad, my back teeth are falling. The beautiful princess will eat this apple and then sleep forever. <laughs> Man, uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. Andy, wait. It's almost intermission now. Be polite. Just how polite would it be if we had a little flood in here? <laughs> What'd he say? Boy, I'm so backed up, my ears are clogging. Something is wrong. Understudy! Get ready! I'm ready, Miss Kitty! Get me in there! Yes! Louie! Louie! What is the matter with Louis, you? Louie, get off the stage! Unsafe Louis, dinner! Don't Louis, pass! Get off the stage. Well, it better pass quickly, Louie! I don't like the alternative! You're out of there, pal! And that's the end of Act One. We'll break for a brief intermission. About time. That act was nice and concise. Louie, get off the stage! Louie! Louie! Louie, quick! What? Push me out there! Yeah. Yeah. Andy, it's starting again. You can't be serious. How could he do this to me? I need mossy wood. I press on, searching for my grill. I see my princess. I must traverse Whoa. this waterfall. <gasps> this is un-American. He's back. Everything's okay. My lips working like a heart defibrillator. Oh, that's my favorite line. My kiss shall awaken thee, fair maiden. Come on, Louie, you can do it. He's gonna choke! Will you kiss her already? because you knew how important it was for you to see your son's play. It's because of the free popcorn. Hey, that's mine. In fact, I'm going to get some right now. <laughs> Gangway, I'm going to blow. Ah, just my luck. Oh. I'm so proud of you, Louie. I knew you were going to be great. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you were both wonderful. Bravissimo. I'm rewriting Streetcar. And I do believe I found my Stanley and Blanche. Hey, where's Dad? Oh, a little emergency. He'll be here to congratulate you later. Freedom! Everything turned out great. 
I just hoped that the next time I kissed Jeannie, I wouldn't be wearing pointy shoes and tights. But who else can say that their first kiss received a standing ovation? Kiss. Touch with lips as a mark of affection. <laughs> Smoking in front of the kid. You know what that can lead to?